one, Emma's reading one of her favorite storybooks, Spells and Space Trolls, book one. The brave adventurers made their way from the mystical minds of Mumu and on towards Mount Boom. But can the heroes survive the spooky woods? The bridge of Crackaboom and the scary space trolls? <gasps> <laughs> Find out in book two. <laughs> <sighs> what are we going to do now? We'll have to wait forever to find out how the story ends. I have an idea. Why don't we have an epic adventure? Let's act out the book and make up an ending of our own. Yeah! yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. somewhere we can have an epic adventure and act out the ending of our book. That sounds fantastic. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Sports can be full of action and drama, but I don't think it's the right place for a storybook make-believe. Ooh, sticky candy is excellent. But it doesn't seem right for a story either. What about that one? Yeah, Storybook Planet would be great. Yes, that's the perfect place for you to act out a fantastic story adventure. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Travelers, who comes looking for adventure on Storybook Planet? I'm Rob. These are my friends Orbit, Emma, and TK. And we're here to act out one of our favorite stories. It's called Spells and Space Trolls. <laughs> if you're going to act out a fantastic fairy tale, you need to look the part. Just step through the costume maker, and you'll soon be ready to step into your story. <laughs> mm. Wow, Orbit, you look amazing! Not Orbit, I'm Orbal the Orange, a mighty wizard! <laughs> Make way for Eminem the Barbarian, fearless and strong! <laughs> I'm Lagless, the super speedy elf princess, ready for action! <laughs> I'm Robagorn the Ranger! Ranger! Barbarian, elf, and wizard. You are the fellowship of the robots. Your adventure awaits. Oh. Now, take this magic bracelet. It will help you to find your way back to the rocket. What do you mean, back to the rocket? It's right th huh? huh? Wow, that's strange. One thing between you all. Leave no friend behind. The magic bracelet leads the way. The rocket you must find. The bracelet will guide us. Huh? Whoa! Huh? Huh? Come on, the rocket must be this way. Oh, it's just like in the storybook. The adventurers arrived at the dark and spooky woods. <laughs> The ghosts of the woods will let you pass if you leave us a gift, something that will last. Ghosts? They're not real, 
everyone. It's just a story, remember? Well, I'm not afraid. Give me the bracelet, and I'll go on ahead and come back for you once I reach the rocket. What you must give is worth a lot, and with each other, lose it not. But if you fight, you'll have to mend this gift I seek that rhymes with N. I know what the ghost wants. Oh, great spirits of the spooky woods. What will you give us to let you pass? We'll give you our friendship. Friend rhymes with end. Yes, you may pass the woods safely. <laughs> you did it, Orbit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, wise wizard Orball, the path is this way. Right, I knew that. Adventurers explore the cosmic caves where they encounter the bridge of Crackaboom. Isn't this where they also meet? <laughs> the the Space Troll! Run! <laughs> Wait! Rob, give me the bracelet so I can protect it. We can't fight a space troll. Whoa! The bracelet is pulling me. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Only my magic can hold off this creature of shadow. Ah! Stop, the space troll. Ah! Ah! I am Orbo the Orange, and I say, you come on. Scary after all. It's true. You all seem to be having so much fun. <clears throat> I thought I'd like to play along in your adventure too. Hey, wait, where's the bracelet? Oh no, Squeak has the magic bracelet. How will we find the rocket now? TK, you must have something in your tummy trunk that will get Squeak to come back. And Eminon, if Squeak can be lured back, someone will have to snatch the bracelet. But what about you guys? I've got my rocket boots. I can pull the others out. Hurry and get Squeak, or we'll never get the bracelet back. I've got just the thing to catch Squeak. Squeak's mouse food. Good thinking, TK. You stay here and shake the box. <laughs> Squeak! Dinner time! <laughs> Oh, gotcha! Yeah! Nice going, Eminem! Mm. <sighs> Rob! You <laughs> did it! You got the bracelet! Mm -hmm. Every one of us has a job in this fellowship. And yours is carrying this bracelet to lead us back home. We must be close. Let's go! <laughs> and the mighty adventurers journeyed past the spooky woods, through the cosmic caves. With friendship and teamwork, they made it to Mount Boom, where they found their rocket. I'd say that's an epic mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> 
Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we didn't know how our story ended, so we went to Storybook Planet to act out our own adventure. But we all got carried away and forgot about our fellowship. Every role is important, but they only tell a story if they all work together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Storybook Planet. female aviator, or pilot. <laughs> she flew airplanes just like your model, Rob. It's a tail dragger airplane. Is that what this is? Cool. <laughs> I think so. I love all airplanes. Tail draggers and tricycle gear planes, oh. biplanes and jets. Wow. <gasps> you know a lot about planes, TK. I just wish we could see a real one. Maybe we can. There must be some place in the galaxy where we can see real old-fashioned airplanes. Yeah, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see real airplanes. That sounds like a high-flying idea. Let's see where you can go. Spare part planet? That's a good place to find airplane parts, but we don't want to build one. Book planet? We don't want to read about airplanes. We want to see them. Oh, the Aviation Planet. That's it. That's the perfect place to see old airplanes. Yes, the Aviation Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. One is a tricycle gear airplane. Oh. Uh huh. And this one is a biplane. Oh. That one's a jet. Oh. <laughs> Those are tail dragger airplanes, similar to your model, Rob. Rob? Hey, wait for me!
one of these. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> red robot to Blue Baron, do you read me? Copy that, Red Robot. Ready for takeoff? Takeoff? I double dare you. Let's see if these planes can really fly. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Very bad. Uh, I can't watch. one thing, and landing a plane is a whole other bucket of bolts. Landing? I never even thought of that! I'm pretty sure Rob and Emma haven't thought of it either. Rob? Emma? Tell me you know how to land a plane! Land? Uh, well, not exactly. Rob? I've landed the rocket plenty of times, but not an old airplane. Rockin' robots. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. All right, stay calm, follow my instructions, and you'll land the plane just fine. Roger that, TK. We're all ears. Okay, first, line up with the runway and put your flaps down. That'll slow you down. Check. Check. Now, pull back on the throttle. That'll slow you down even more. Roger that. Now, choose a landing spot on the runway. Emma, you come down first. Oh, I can't watch. That's it. Now cut the power and pull the throttle back. Okay, now what? It's a prank. Okay. Thank goodness you know so much about planes. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have landed safely. 
That's the plain truth, all right. We shouldn't have been up there. You saved us. Hooray for TK! I'd say this is <laughs> one sky-high mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? planet to see real airplanes. Only Rob and I got carried away. Up, up and away, into the air. Flying the plane was fun, but landing it was a whole other matter. Thankfully, TK was there to help us. Following TK's instructions, we landed safely. Next time, we'll pay more attention to rules and not get carried up, up and away. A soaring mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Aviation Planet! Circus. I'm the juggler. Whoa! <laughs> I'm the acrobat. <laughs> and I'm the tightrope walker. Whoa! <laughs> but a tightrope's supposed to be up in the air orbit. Yeah, not on the ground. Well, there's nothing to tie it to. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do something, Rob. What can you do? Well, I can, um, I can, I, I think it would be fun to see a real circus with real circus performers. Yeah! Okay then, that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. The Toolbox Planet. I love tools. You sure do, TK. But we want to see jugglers. The Thimble Planet is a great place to go if we wanted to learn to sew. But we want to see acrobats. Oh. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. Yay! <laughs> Yes, the circus planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Strange. It must be the quietest circus ever. I don't hear a sound.
What does the sign say, Emma? It's a rhyme. We're taking a break and have gone away, so the circus is closed oh. just for today. We've worked so hard, it's for the best. Please stay and play and be our guest. Rusty Robots! What fun is a circus planet without a circus? But the sign says we can stay and play here, Orbit. Maybe we can put on our own circus. Huh? That's a great idea, Emma. I could be the juggler. And as you all know, I could be the acrobat. And this is my chance to try walking on a tightrope up in the air. <laughs> what are you going to do for our circus, Rob? Uh, um, well, um, it's a secret. Okay, then. Let's go see what we can find to use in our circus acts. <laughs> What am I gonna do? <sighs> oh, hi, Squeak. Have you come to see the show? TK's gonna juggle, Emma's gonna be an acrobat, and Orbit's gonna walk a tightrope. What about me? Mm, I can't do anything. I can't juggle, I'm not an acrobat, and I can't walk a tightrope. You think there must be something I can do? Okay, let's go see if I can find something to do for the circus show. But I don't think there is. Hmm, Emma, TK, and Orbit must be back there getting ready. Should we take a peek? Ooh. Wow! <laughs> you think I should try to juggle like TK squeak? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd need a lot of practice to be a juggler like TK. Rope, but I think I can do this. <laughs> I guess I need a lot more practice to learn to do that, too. practice to do what Emma does, too. I'm ready to do my circus show. Me, too. And me, three. How about you, Rob? Uh, um, well, I'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll just have to tell them the truth. I don't have any circus talent. I can't put on a show like they can. <sighs> Think I'm funny? Then maybe I can put on a circus show like the others. I can't be a juggler, I can't be an acrobat, and I can't be a tightrope walker, but I can be.
Not only did we all have fun and see a really great show, we got to be in one too. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? circus performers. So we went to the circus planet. But the circus people weren't there, so we decided to put on our own show. TK was the juggler, Emma was the acrobat, and Orbit was the tightrope walker. It takes lots and lots of practice to do all those things. I couldn't do anything like they could. But Squeak made me see that I could be funny and make him laugh. So, I did a circus clown show. Well done, everyone. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, Circus Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. One more badge for my hat. The only one I'm missing is my Galaxy Beaver Scouts spelunking badge. Spelunking? <laughs> spelunking. It's another name for cave exploring, Orbit. You're great at exploring, Rob. Getting your badge should be easy peasy. I hope so, TK. I really want to add it to my. Hey. Where did my hat go? <gasps> you guys didn't take it, did you? <laughs> uh, you may be great at exploring the galaxy, Rob, but you'll need to work on your finding <clears throat> skills if you're gonna be a good oh. spelunker. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes when I get really excited, I forget where I put things. Maybe getting my spelunking badge is going to be harder than I thought. You just need to work on staying calm and not jumping to conclusions. Maybe some hands-on cave exploring practice would help. Yeah! That's a great idea, TK! And that sounds like we have a mission! And you yeah. know what that means! Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where I can practice my spelunking skills. Oh, I love cave exploring. Let's see where you can go. The winter planet? We want to investigate caves, not igloos. Hmm, the basketball planet? Fun for slam dunking, yeah. but not spelunking. <laughs> yeah! The cave planet! Yeah. Perfect! Yes, the cave planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. should always bring along a compass. No problemo. Now we'll always know which direction we're heading. 
Did you hear that? It sounded like a flying cave frog. Uh, frogs can't fly, Orbit. And there's certainly nothing to be afraid of. Clearly you've never met a cave frog before. They eat your crayons! <laughs> That's just silly. Don't worry, Orbit. I won't let anything happen to your crayons. Come on, let's explore. Oh, that sounds like a hungry cave frog. He's drooling for my crayons. <laughs> Calm down, Orbit. We can't just jump to conclusions, remember? We need to check out all the possibilities first. That's a good tip, TK. Tip? That's it! It's water dripping from the tip of that stalactite. Stalactites are a type of stone that forms from dripping water. See? I told you it wasn't a... Uh... Ah! <gasps> K-Frog! Ah! 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 Wait a minute. Why are we running? Frogs aren't scary. Ah! We still haven't seen them. Rob, 
Rob, you've earned your Galaxy Beaver Scout Spelunking Badge. Woohoo! Thanks, everyone! I'd say this is one big mission accomplished! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? on my spelunking skills, so we headed to the cave planet to practice. Sometimes when you're exploring a new place, it's easy to get overexcited and let your imagination get the better of you. It can cause you to misplace things or even lose your way. But if you stay calm and don't jump to conclusions, you'll often find that exploring new places isn't scary at all. Great job, Rob. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Cave Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We've got space mail. Look, it's for me. An invitation. To what? A picnic? I love yummy picnics. Oops, I'm hungry. Even better! It's an invitation for the Great Galactic Cook-Off. Only, it's tomorrow? That doesn't give you much time to come up with a dish. I need to find my recipe book, quick! <gasps> oh, my chef's hat! Wow, there are so many awesome recipes in here. Too many. How am I going to choose? Don't worry. We'll help you. We can even help with the cooking. And we can help with the tasting. You guys are the best. Okay, first, we need some fresh ingredients to inspire me to come up with an amazing dish. We can stop at the Galaxy Grocery. Yeah! But that's all the way on the other side of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. The sooner we find food, the sooner we can cook <gasps> and eat. <laughs> yeah! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find some fresh ingredients to cook up the galaxy's greatest meal. What a delicious mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. I love the soccer planet, but I'm way too hungry to play right now. Stinky Fun Planet? with stinky toe jam. Now that's a yummy looking planet. The food planet. Delicious choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
planet. at the wondrous, the fantabulous Foodomatic Machine. Foodomatic Machine? The Foodomatic Machine? I can't believe it! Uh, what's the Foodomatic Machine? It's only the most amazing cooking invention ever. The Foodomatic can cook any dish in the galaxy right here. We don't even need a recipe. We simply add ingredients and the Foodomatic will do the rest. But what kind of meal should we make? Ah, I know. We'll make Rob surprise. I'll eat some strawberries, a pinch of pineapple, a squeeze of squash, oh, and some spaghetti. Can't forget that. Mm, all this talk of food is making me even hungrier. Well, I can fix that. So now what? I don't know. Maybe we push another button, or say please, or uh. uh... Ah! Ah! What's wrong with that thing? I don't know. Introducing Rob's Surprise, also known as Squash Getty with Pineapple Fruity Meatballs. Squash Getty with Pineapple Fruity Meatballs? Ew. Hmm. Wow, I'm stuffed. I ate so much my tummy trunk is full. Mm. It was mm mm good. Emma, you haven't even touched your food yet. Was something wrong with your dish? Well, it, uh, it's too yucky. I can't eat it. It looks yucky and sounds yucky, so it must taste yucky. How do you know when you haven't even tried it? Because the ingredients in Rob's surprise don't go together. It can't possibly taste good. But Emma, it did taste good. Oh, I don't believe that for one robo second. <sighs> If we want to win, we'll need to make a simple, normal dish. One everyone will love. But we're running out of time. The cook-off is tomorrow. Wait! I know! Guys, help me put some apples and bananas in the machine. I'll tell you yeah. when to stop. Um... Okay. Oh! How about a little eggplant, Emma? Eggplant and apples, Rob? Eggplant is delicious! Trust me, Rob, it's yucky! Now let me handle this. I'm the chef! Hmm. You're supposed to be helping me! Is this too many bananas, Emma? Oh! <laughs> Not pickles, Rob! Ick! <gasps> oh, what? Not meatballs, mangoes! No, not mangoes, meatballs! Ah! Ooh. 
Okay, that isn't normal. Everything's going to be okay, as long as we find a way to shut down the food on mat But how? If we leave here, we'll be toast. Ah! Yeah. See? Don't worry, I have an idea. The coast is clear. Let's go. Okay? I'm so hungry. I can barely move. Aww. You should have some Rob surprise. Oh, why not? I'm hungry enough to eat anything right now. Mm -mm -mm. Wow! This is actually really yummy. Why was I so picky? All I needed to do was try it. It's delicious. Really? Oh, I just wish we had more of it so we could enter it in the cook-off. Huh? Ha! Now that's a Rob surprise! This is going to be a great galactic cook-off. And it's one big yummy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Rob's surprise with the food o -matic. Only Emma wouldn't even try it. She tried to make her own meal, but we got carried away, and because of us, the machine went haywire. We finally shut it down. By then, Emma was so hungry, she agreed to try my dish. And she liked it. Sometimes it pays to keep an open mind and try new things. What a scrumptiously successful mission. Get ready for countdown. Five. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, planet! Hi, everyone! Hope you're ready for a wild ride! Playing make believe horsey. I'm riding a wild Bronco. Whoa! What's your horse, Emma? Mine's a beautiful sport horse. Look out! Whoa! Race! Horse! Coming! Woo! <laughs> hey, where's TK? Over here, Rob. Um, what's your horse? It's a unicorn. A what? A unicorn. It's a magical horse with a long pointed horn on its head. But that's different. You need to pick a real horse. But I like unicorns. And besides, I've never ridden a real horse. They kind of scare me. Well, maybe horses scare you because you haven't learned to ride one. You should give it a try. Yes. And riding a real horse is way better than riding a make-believe one. That's a great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where TK can ride a horse. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. The pet planet? 
We want to ride horses, not hamsters. The merry-go-round planet? Hmm. Merry-go-rounds have horses, but they only go in circles. <laughs> hey, this looks like the perfect place. <laughs> yes, the horse planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. supposed to 
happened? <gasps> I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no! How are we gonna stop him? Um, I've got a magnet. Nope. Huh? A pillow. And a roll of sticky tape. None of these will work. To catch him, we're gonna need a miracle. Or a unicorn! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Easy, girl. I need your help to catch my friend Rob, okay? Good girl. Okay, um... Giddy up? your choice just because it was different than ours. It's okay. I forgive you. Turns out I really like riding horses, and I think everyone's favorites were great, too. Can we go back and try them all? That's a great idea, and I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> we're skipping the wild bronco, right? Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> TK had never ridden a horse before, so we went to the horse planet to help her find the perfect choice. TK's favorite horse was a unicorn, but we didn't believe they were real. So we tried showing her each of our own favorite horses. Orbit showed us a thoroughbred racehorse. He was super fast. And Emma found her equestrian horse. It was a great jumper. But I thought there was an even better horse for TK to try. That's when we found my favorite horse, a wild bronco. But he was a little too wild. If it wasn't for TK and her unicorn, I would have been in big trouble. We learned that we all like different things, but being different is okay, as long as you're having fun. Well done, TK. Unicorns are my favorite, too. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? Let's 
if I can fix it. Hmm. Don't worry. It's not broken. It just ran out of colors. <laughs> so I'm stuck being pink forever? I'm sorry, everyone. I should have waited my turn. Now you're all funny colors. Don't worry, Emma. We'll be okay. We just need to find another way to put ourselves back to normal. Hey, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. that color? Mm-mm. Orbit and Emma were painting with a color popper. Yeah! I look silly! We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty in salads, but We'll go to the Onion Planet when we've got our colors sorted. Now that looks like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the Paint Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. popper in here. And... Uh-oh. We don't have any orange. The only choices left are black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. Try. 
sky orbit. Hmm, grapes. They're not red or yellow or blue. They're purple. But we don't have any purple paint. Just like we don't have any orange. Ah! Hey, look at this. Huh? What do we do? We don't have any green paint either. There's no orange, no purple, no green. The only colors we have are blue and... Wait! You can make green by mixing blue and yellow. robot and get you fixed up. Wait! What's going on here? We need your help. Our friend Orbit has his colors all mixed up. Uh, he looks fine to me. But his head is pink. And his body is green. And his arms are purple. Are they? That's not what I see. Huh? What color am I? Yellow and green and a bit of blue. I can fix that for you if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are. Uh. No wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see, a toothbrush? No, that's too small for this job. Room? Hmm, no, too scratchy. Aha, a sponge. This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and ta-da! Voila, a masterpiece. Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and... Yellow! Red and yellow make orange! That's it! I haven't mixed the right colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Pink Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's teaching us a new song. Teach us 
another song, Emma? Sure, there's lots of fun songs to learn. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Great, Rob. Now let's try a new... John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Oh, his name is my name too. Rob, why do you keep doing that? I don't know, it just keeps popping out. John Jacob Something's wrong. I better take a look with my robot reader. Whenever we go out, Oh no! That song is stuck in Rob's robot memory bank. We need to fix you, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. Whenever we go out, and you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I have a tune stuck in my head, and we need to find a place where we can unstick it. It sounds like you need a tune-up. Let's see where you can go. The wind-up planet? I think that song has raw wound up enough. Mm -hmm. The sandwich planet? We need to fix Rob's memory, not fix the sandwich. Hey, the repair planet. Perfect. Yes, the repair planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the repair planet. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <gasps> His name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, they say John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Ba -la 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 -la. the problem, I can fix him. One, two, three! <gasps> well, say something, Rob. Hooray! I'm not singing! Thanks, TK. But just to be sure, let's delete that song from my memory bank. I don't know if that's a good idea. I need that song out of my head for good. <laughs> so, how do you feel? I feel great! And is the song gone? What song? <laughs> Rob is fixed! Rob is fixed! Yeah. Rob is fixed! Rob, Rob is fixed. fixed! Rob is fixed! So, who's Rob? <gasps> and who are you guys? One, Rob? Hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> this Rob sounds like a funny guy. Where is he? I'd like to meet him. <gasps> oh no! Huh? I think Rob erased his whole memory. Who erased his memory? Who's Rob? Uh -oh. You remember me though, right? I'm Norbit. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Norbit. Not Norbit, Orbit! <laughs> He's funny. I like Norbit. Orbit! Ah! Phew, that's lucky. 
Rob's memories are still there, but for some reason, he can't remember anything. Oh, no. Poor Rob. Yeah, poor Rob. We should go help him. Come on. <laughs> Rob! Hey, Rob! Yoo-hoo! Greasy gears! We need to fix him! Don't worry, Orbit. We will. Every robot repair manual in the galaxy is stored in this library. So while I look for the one we need to fix Rob... Hey, ah! did you know there's a big rocket ship parked out here? Cool! <sighs> you two try to find a way to jog Rob's memory. If he can remember just one thing, it might bring his memory back. Okay, come on, Emma. Let's go introduce Rob to Rob. Huh? <laughs> hey, buddy. What you doing? I'm still trying to find your friend Rob, but I can't see him. Ah! <sighs> Time to watch a TV show? Yes, it is. This is a video of all the fun things we've done together. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Guess what? We found Rob. He's right up there. Really? He is? Hi, everyone. I'm Rob. Rocket boots still work. Rocket boots? I've got rocket boots? You mean I can fly? <laughs> uh oh. You know what? I can't remember how to fly. Oh no! What a mess! We'll never find Rob's repair manual now. Don't say that! We have to find it! We need to fix Rob! Huh? Uh, I can see you guys are busy, so I'll just head back home. Even though I can't remember where I live. I'll see ya! Oh no. He's leaving. It's no use. The Rob we knew is gone. His singing wasn't that bad. I'd do anything to have the old Rob back, silly singing and all. John Jacob Jingle and I Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, they say, John Jacob Jingle and Remember that song? You do? Do you remember me? How could I forget you, Orbit, and Emma, and TK? I remember everything. Rob's back! Woohoo! And if Rob wants to sing, let him sing. We'll even join you. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, there is one thing I'd like to sing about, and that's another. Hmm, another. Um, uh, another big mission accomplished! Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? flying to the repair planet and trying to get that song out of my head, I accidentally erased my memory. TK Orbit and Emma tried hard to fix me. They felt bad when nothing worked, until their singing finally jogged my memory back. 
Memory is being able to remember things, like places you visited or fun times with your friends. Without those memories, we just wouldn't be the same. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye. Orbit, they make things safe. Red means stop, yellow means caution, green means go. Just like the lights on a real street. Oh, I didn't know that. Learning a few rules about street safety might be a good idea, Orbit. And that sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Somewhere we can learn about street safety. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The book planet. Hmm. We want to read street signs, not books. Piggy Bank Planet. <laughs> no. We want to learn about keeping ourselves safe, not saving our pennies. Yay! That place looks sensational. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the traffic light planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the traffic light planet. symbol. It means it's safe to cross now, but you should still look both ways to make sure. Oh, there are only two pods. No problem, Orbit. There's room enough for two in each. Let's team up and we can all take turns at driving. Yeah! Good idea, Rob! Okay! okay. 
I can't wait to see what the finish line looks like. Uh -huh. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I'm ESI, your electronic safety instructor. Oh! Hi, ESI! Before we begin, please ensure your safety belts are securely fastened. Uh, seat belts fastened, ESI. <laughs> Excellent. Please proceed with care. Continue the test huh? until the safety belts are securely fastened. Oh, Rob, don't forget your safety belt. <laughs> Please stop and look both ways to make certain it's safe to move ahead. Uh, Emma, I think we were supposed to stop and look both ways first. Huh, I didn't see anyone. Besides, we have a finish line to get to, and fast! No! Please stop and look both ways to make certain it's safe to move ahead. Ah! Woohoo! Come on, TK, we have some catching up to do. Rob, didn't you see the sign? You went the wrong way in the roundabout. I know, but I avoided all the traffic, and look! Emma and Orbit are just up ahead! This isn't a race, Rob. We're supposed to be learning about street safety. Ah! It's a red light, Emma. Mm. That means stop, right? <sighs> hmm. Come on, come on! Ha <sighs> <laughs> It's no use, Emma. You can't outrace a racer, and I'm Racer Rob, the fastest. So long, Slowpoke. Turn green! That's cheating! Oh dear! Emma sure isn't following any of the safety rules. Oh! Hang on, TK. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's take this shortcut. This race isn't over yet. Rob! The sign said do not enter! We shouldn't be going this way! TK anywhere. We're gonna win. Ah! Ah! Just a little further. Almost there. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Emma, you cheated. You didn't wait for the green light back there. You cheated, Rob. You went through a construction zone. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry to say you have failed your street safety test. Huh? Test? That's right. Huh? I was so excited about racing our pods, I forgot why we came here. To learn about street safety, not to race. Wow, guys, we're sorry. That's okay. At least nobody was hurt. Barely. The only thing we've learned about street rules is how to break them. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, guys, I have an idea. Greetings. I'm ESI, your electronic safety instructor. <laughs> Before we begin, please ensure your safety belts are securely fastened. Seatbelts fastened, ESI. Excellent. Please proceed with care. Congratulations! You 
followed the rules and successfully completed the course. You have passed the safety test. <laughs> I guess that's one mission safely accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? so we could learn all about street safety. Only Emma and I got slightly carried away trying to race each other. And we broke a lot of rules trying to get to the finish line. Thankfully, we had a second chance at the test, so TK and Orbit had a turn driving. And this time, we obeyed the rules and passed the test safe and sound. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, traffic light planet. Remember that dinosaur? So scary. <laughs> Nothing beats resting in the galaxy's biggest beach chair. Maybe we should get one of those for the rocket. <laughs> Aw, no more photos. Hey, there wasn't one of you, Emma. Yeah, our photo album is missing a picture of Emma posing next to the galaxy's biggest... Uh, something. You're right. But what could I pose next to? Uh... Wait, I know. The perfect cheesy photo for our album. I can say cheese in front of the galaxy's biggest cheese. That would be so cheesy. I like it. Me too. And I'm sure there's some place in the galaxy where we can find really big cheese. Sounds like we have a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find some giant cheese so Emma can have her picture taken with it. That sounds like a gouda idea. <laughs> Let's see where you can go. Castle Planet? Castles are big, but they're not very cheesy. <laughs> Popcorn Planet? I've heard of cheese popcorn, but let's keep looking. Ooh. <gasps> the Cheese Planet! That's Yay! perfect! Yes, the Cheese Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Orbit. We came here to take a photo, remember? Okay, Emma. Give us your best smile next to the cheese ball. And don't forget to act like a cheese ball around the cheese ball. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I want this photo to be perfect. So I can't pose with any old piece of cheese. It has to be the galaxy's biggest cheese. Okay, so maybe we should look around and size up our options. <laughs> Last one to the big cheese is... Rotten cheese! <laughs> Smells funny. Old gym socks? No. Rotten garbage? No. Aha! Here's the big stink. Ew, Limburger cheese! The galaxy's smelliest and tastiest cheese. Tasty? No way! It's way too stinky. <laughs> you don't have to eat it, Emma. You just need to stand next to it to have your picture taken. Yeah, like this. Whoa! <laughs> so I guess we keep looking? Don't worry. We'll find the perfect cheese. I just know it. Right? Totally, Orbit. It's perfect. Don't you think, Emma? Nuh-uh. Too many holes in it. It looks like it's been nibbled. Well, I guess there's a hole in that idea, huh? <laughs> Let's keep looking. Last one to the cheeses. We know. Rotten cheese. We've looked everywhere, Emma. And we've seen tons of cheese. Are you sure you wouldn't like a picture taken next to that nice big piece of cheesy Swiss cheese? Wait, look! Huh? Gorgonzola! Huh? Gorgon what? -a? Gorgonzola. It's a kind of blue cheese. This would make a great photo, Emma. Yeah, it's nice and some um, colorful. But I've never heard of this kind of cheese. I want to take a picture with cheese that I know <gasps> and like. Mm. Okay, well, let's find one that you know and like. <laughs> How about Havarti? Mm -hmm. No. <gasps> Gruyere is good cheese. Nuh-uh. Gouda? You gotta love Gouda. No, I don't think so. What? But it's so Gouda! <sighs> Emma, isn't there anything you like? <gasps> cheddar cheese! I love cheddar cheese! It's perfect! Really? Oh, finally! That's great, Emma! There's only one little problem. What? I don't like where it's sitting. Could we move it to a prettier spot? Then we'll have the perfect photo. You want to move that? Yep. <sighs> Come on. Uh, help me. Uh, no. Huh? Wow. It's moving. I don't think you need any help, Emma. Huh? Yeah, but I do. Ah! <gasps> the cheese is rolling away. Oh, no. about this cheesy photo! Whoa. 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 Rocket boots to the rescue! <laughs> Hooray! I'm so sorry, Orbit. I owe you a big apology. If I hadn't been so picky about picking the cheese, this never would have happened. 
That's okay, Emma. We understand. You're just really excited about this photo. But nothing is ever perfect. I don't know. I think our friendship is pretty perfect. And that gives me an idea about this photo. <gasps> oh, please, not more cheese. <laughs> no, Orbit. Not more cheese. We'll all take the photo together. Okay. okay. Three, two, one, say cheese! Cheese! I'd say this is one big, really cheesy mission accomplished! Woo -hoo! Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we went to the Cheese Planet, so Emma could have her picture taken with the galaxy's biggest cheese. Only Emma wasn't very open-minded about the kinds of cheese we found, until we discovered a giant wheel of cheddar cheese. I tried to move it to get the perfect photo, only that wasn't such a good idea. Don't you mean a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Rob's rocket boots saved the day, I learned a lesson about being open-minded, and we all got a great photo! Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up! Five, four, three, two, one! You're just in time. We're playing a game of space blocks. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Careful, Rob. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Right? Really? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Building towers is tons of fun. I'd love to build a life-size tower with super giant building blocks. Oh, me too. That does sound kind of cool. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. somewhere we can build a life-size tower with giant building blocks. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Sport Planet! A great place to find starting blocks, but we need building blocks. Origami Planet! <laughs> Perfect for building paper airplanes, but not for wooden towers. Whoa! That place looks towerific! <laughs> yes, the building block planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
Next up, the building block plan. Tower the fastest. And the strongest. Yeah! TK's on my team. I'm with Orbit. Woohoo! Yay! Let's do it! Right. Ready? Steady? Build! Ow! 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 Hmm. All the red ones are square shaped. And those orange ones all look like the letter L. Let's sort the blocks into different colors first. That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm -hmm. This will be the best tower ever. This is so easy, Emma. Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK. We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block. <laughs> to build another, only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks coming up. Only this time, we need to build at super speed. Super speed, my specialty. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. We're nearly there. We're at the final stage. According to the picture, there should only be two green blocks left. Triangle shape, right? Correct. Then we're finished. Woohoo! I wonder how Emma and Orbit are getting on. Hopeless. Every time we get close to the top, the tower falls over. Maybe we are not built to build towers. Hmm. Hey, you guys, don't give up. You can still do it. All it takes is a little patience and some help. The picture gives clues on what pieces go where. <gasps> the picture! Gosh, we got so caught up in the race, we forgot all about following the instructions. Hey, why don't we all help build a tower together? We'll have this up before you can say Bolt Boy! Bolt Boy! <laughs> <laughs> And all that 
that's missing is the piece that connects them. According to the picture, all we need is a small white piece shaped like an upside down letter U. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the building block planet so we could build ourselves a life-size tower. TK and I learned it's best to organize things before building. But Emma and Orbit weren't so organized. They decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Just in time, we're talking about the adventures of Bolt Boy. Come on! That was the best movie ever! Yes! Remember when Bolt Boy lifted up the car with his super strength to protect his friends from that meteor shower? Yeah! That was so cool! And then he used his super speed to rescue the space monkey! That was so totally Maybe there's some place where we can go to get superpowers. You mean we can have superpowers just like Boo Boy? Yeah, I bet we could. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can have superpowers for the day. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The Windy Planet? Well, that's a great place to find wind power, but not superpowers. The Toolbox Planet. It has power tools, yes. Superpowers? No. The superpower planet? That's super perfect! Yes, the superpower planet. A wonderful choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Five, four, three, two, 
next stop, the Super Power Planet. Superpower planet, right? It doesn't look very super. What's with the phone booth? Maybe we're supposed to call someone to find out where the real superhero planet is. <laughs> Rob! <gasps> Whoa, it's a telephone teleporter. Just like Boat Boy uses. Oh, right. Well, what are we waiting for? something else for a while. Um, you could teach us some math equations. Good idea. Uh, that'll be uh, just as much fun as using our superpowers. Whoa, coming through! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm okay. But it appears the computer is not. Superhero security alarm activated. Uh-oh. TK's unfortunate collision with the computer has caused it to malfunction, thereby trapping us. Trap? Ha! We 
we can't be trapped. We're superheroes, remember? <laughs> right. I'll just use my super fly in the sky power. Ouchie, that didn't work. Not a problem. With my super twisty twirly power, getting out of here should be a breeze. Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess I can't spin through walls. They're too strong. This sounds like a job for Super Rob. Those walls aren't stronger than I am. Why won't you open? Oh, getting out of here is going to be harder than we thought. None of our powers are helping. What are we going to do? Mm. Uh, Orbit, what are you doing? This appears to be a memory puzzle. I just need to match the icon, or picture, with its corresponding icon. Observe. Oh, it's like a matching game. Smart thinking, Orbit. Thanks, but I'll need to quicken my maneuvers. Notice the timer. <gasps> There's not much time left. Uh, oh no, that wasn't a match. No, but it'll allow me to do this. A match! Way to go, Orbit! A mask. So therefore, this icon should be a lightning bolt. Now my solution should authorize the walls to retract or receive. And... Superhero security alarm deactivated. Yay! Hey, you did it! You're a hero, Orbit, just like Bolt Boy. You saved the day! Yes! Very astute of you, Rob. You're right. I did save the day. I came to the rescue with my super smarty pants power. I guess brain power turned out to be the best power of all. And that means this is one super smart mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> We went to the superpower planet, where we all got superpowers for the day. Orbit got super smarty pants power, only he didn't think that was very super. But when we got trapped, it was Orbit smarty pants power that saved the day. He showed us that super smarts are super cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. Just in time. We're getting ready for movie time. <laughs> Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> Four. Three. Two. Wait a minute. Aren't we missing something? Uh, we have our movie. Check. We have our nice comfy couch. Check. And we have our... <gasps> Galloping galaxies! We forgot our grape juice! <gasps> we can't watch a movie without our favorite tree. I'll go grab us some. Ah! We're all out! Huh? But we always have grape juice for our movies. What are we gonna do? <laughs> sounds like we'll just have to go and get some more. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some grape juice. Oh, delicious. 
Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Lemon juice planet? Hmm, I'm kind of sour on that idea. <laughs> Crepe planet? Sounds close, but we want grapes, not crepes. <laughs> the Grape Juice Planet! The perfect place to find your favorite movie time treat! <laughs> Yay! Yes, the Grape Juice Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the grape juice planet. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh? Hmm. This looks like a giant juicer, but there's no juice inside. Maybe Mission Control got the planets mixed up. Where's all the grape trees? <laughs> Grapes don't grow on trees, Orbit. They grow on vines. And we're surrounded by grape vines. All we need to do is pick some of the grapes, squash them up, and we'll have our own homemade grape juice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Awesome! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Huh? The grapes are all gone. What happened? Who took them all? Hey, I think I found some. Grapes! 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 What is that? Grapes! 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 Oh, look how cute! Those crows want grapes too. Grapes! 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 Huh? Grapes! Grapes! We sure do! Grapes, They're eating grapes. them all! Grapes! 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 <sighs> Those crows are the ones taking all the grapes. They're not leaving any for us. <sighs> Yeah, don't they have any manners? Haven't you ever heard of sharing? These grapes aren't just for you. So, yeah, uh, we were wondering if we could have some grapes too, so we can make grape juice. Hey! Grapes, grapes! Grapes, 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 Orbit, are you okay? I'm okay, but they're not sharing with us. And it looks like they're going to eat the last of the grapes. Ooh, those sneaky crows. Maybe I have something in my tummy trunk to shoot them off. Straw? This won't help. Uh, sticks? Hmm, that won't do. Uh, huh? What are we going to do with the box of old clothes? <gasps> TK, you're brilliant. Alone, these things won't help, but together, just what we need. Huh? Grapes, 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 Okay, Orbit, you distract the crows while TK, Emma, and I get set up. Um, okay. I sure hope this works. Ooh! Grapes! Grapes! 
Grapes! Come get your grapes. Super juicy, delicious, yummy grapes. Grapes? 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 Grapes! 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 See? Alone, the straw, sticks, and clothes didn't work. But together, they make a scarecrow. But will the scarecrow work? The crows weren't afraid of us. But we're just little. Our scarecrow is big. Grapes? Grapes? Oh, crows! Grapes? Over here! Grapes! 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 Thank you, who? Grapes! 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 Yummy grapes! This way! And I'd say that's a win. I, uh, I kind of feel bad for tricking the crows. Now we're acting just like they were. Oh, Gracie Gears, you're right. Maybe we should show them how to share. There's still enough grapes here for everybody. Oh, Mr. Crows. Would you like to share some grapes with us? There's enough here for everyone. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted grape juice for movie time, but we were all out. So we went to the grape juice planet for more. Grape juice is made by squashing up juicy grapes, but all of the planet's grapes were missing. It turned out that a flock of hungry crows was eating them all up. Since they wouldn't share, we decided to build a scarecrow to help chase them away. But that's when we realized we were acting just like the crows. We weren't sharing either. We decided to give some of the grapes back to the crows. And they returned the favor by helping us make grape juice. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, crow friends. Goodbye, Grape Juice Planet. Oh, hi, everyone. You're just in time. Orbit made his own fair ride. Woohoo! <laughs> work. You know, we could try to find an actual fair. Then you wouldn't have to work at anything. Why didn't I think of that? There must be some place where we can ride some real rides. High ones, too. Uh, high ones? 
Yes, TK, really high ones. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can ride some real fun fair rides. Looking for some fair play, hmm? Okay, let's see where you can go. The horse planet? We want to ride roller coasters, not horses. Garden planet? The only thing to ride there are tractors. Yes, the Bear Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. so the metal thingy goes all the way up and rings the bell. Oh, right. I, I knew that. But maybe Orbit should go first. There's no rush, after all. Don't be silly. This is your favorite. And the sooner we win, the sooner we can go on the ride. Oh. Er, uh... Whoa! Try the elevator ride. Wait, uh, why don't we uh, uh, have a snack first? But we should ride the elevator ride now. What if there's a lineup or a power outage? Or is that a candy apple stand? Oh, candy apples! Where? Where? Phew. Mmm, they look yummy. Tasty treats, tasty treats. Look at all my tasty treats. Isn't this awesome? It's awesome, all right. Let's take our time and enjoy. They have red candy apples, maple apples, chocolate apples. Look at all these candy apples. Orbit, you ruined our snack. Uh, sorry. It's okay. We can use up our tickets and get lots more. <laughs> I think we'll have to make snacks back on the rocket, TK. We need to keep some tickets for rides, remember? Come on! <laughs> mm, I remember. How high do you think it goes? Oh, I hope it goes all the way up to the clouds. No, higher than the clouds. 
higher than the clouds? Hey, we almost walked right by the teacup ride. Mm -hmm. Pretty please with nuts and bolts on top? Let's ride it now. Well, okay. Teacup, TK? Well, then, maybe we could, uh, play the hammer game again. Or have another snack. Is everything okay, TK? Oh, everything's great. I'm fine. Off to the elevator ride. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, I'm scared. Scared? Well, why didn't you say so? You don't have to ride it if you don't want to, TK. We understand. Really? Phew. Okay, then. Um, what are we waiting for? I want to go straight to the top! You got it. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five! Wow! It's amazing up here! Hey, look! There's our rocket! <laughs> they sure sound like they're having fun up there. Whee! It's your turn, Rob. I'll work the controls. You two ready? Wait. I think I'd like to try. Really? As long as we go up slowly, okay? Of course! You're gonna love it! I'll hold your hand if you want, and we can come down whenever you want to. Okay, thanks. Ready? Here we go! This isn't so bad. Level two, please. This is fun! Higher, please. It's okay to be scared. Do you want to go down now? No. I just need a second. Hey, look! There's the snack shop. Oh, yeah. And there's the teacup ride. Higher, please, Emma. <laughs> huh. It's so pretty up here. A little higher, please. TK, we can't go any higher. We're at the top. We are? That means I did it. I really did it. Yay, Yay TK! Wee! Wee! <laughs> that was a blast. It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it would be. I guess I just needed to try it. Yeah! You did great, TK. What an awesome ride. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> visited the fair planet. Orbit Emma and I were excited to ride the elevator, but TK was scared. It took her a while to admit it, but she finally told us. When TK saw how much fun it was, she decided to give the ride a try. She found that by going slowly and taking things step by step, the ride wasn't scary at all. It was fun. I'm glad I gave it a try, with the help of my friends. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Everyone. 
everyone. You're just in time. Oh, we can't find Orbit. He's not down here. <laughs> wow! Huh? Hmm. Maybe he's up in the attic. Oh! <laughs> it sounds like he's up to something. <laughs> the buttons, were you? <gasps> what? Oh, uh... No! I don't know what happened. It, uh... Uh... It just stopped on its own. <gasps> Maybe it's broken. Oh, no. Elevators are hard to fix. And it's hard to explore planets with a broken elevator. We'll need to get a new one right away. That sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? The rocket's elevator's broken. We need to find a new one. Oh, dear. Perhaps I can help lift your spirits. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? We need a new elevator to lift us up and down, not a place to lift weights. The fair planet has lots of fun rides, but not the type of ride we're looking for. Hey, the <laughs> elevator planet. Perfect. Yes, the elevator planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. to our old elevator and try fixing it. What? No! It's broken! We need a new one! You said so yourself! Yes, but be honest, Orbit. You know how much TK loves to fix things. Honest? What do you mean? I'm being honest. I, I mean, uh, just think of all the fun we'll have finding a new elevator. Let's go! This one. This one 
must lead to a big tree. See? That's an up arrow orbit. You press it and the elevator goes up. <gasps> it does? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go up! <laughs> uh, next stop... It'd be great if we wanted to lie in the sun every day, uh, but... Lie? Who's lying? Not me. Nuh-uh. No siree. Orbit, is something bothering you? What? No, I'm fine. Hey, I think I get it. Look, each button has a sign, and the picture tells us where the elevator goes. Oh, I see. So this green button will take us to... an upside-down tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, Orbit. The arrow symbols on an elevator tell us which direction it goes. Up or down. See? Oh, so that's what those buttons mean. Uh, I knew that. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! It was, but we don't need an elevator that goes to different places. We need to find one that fits with our rocket. <gasps> or maybe we really should try to just fix our old elevator. Or we could just keep looking. I mean, it's the elevator planet. There has to be an elevator that we like here. Oh, hey, how about this one? It looks like this one travels to a planet, just like we do. It's perfect. Um, are you sure that's a planet orbit? It looks kind of like a... Going up! <laughs> a countdown? Uh -oh. Why are we counting down? Three. That's not good. Two. One. planet? It's a moon! And moons don't have any... Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Gravity! Ah! Oh, gotcha! Hang on, Emma! And I got you, Rob! And I've got TK! Whoa! That was close. If it wasn't for orbit, we'd be in orbit by now. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be here in the first place. This is all my fault. What do you mean? Uh, I, I fibbed about the elevator. I was playing with the buttons, not knowing what they were for. Then I pushed the big red button and... Oh, uh, I broke the rocket's elevator. Orbit! That's it! Now we know why Rocket's elevator stopped working! We need to get back to the ship! Ta-da! It's fixed! But how? You didn't break the elevator, Orbit. You just pushed the wrong button by mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have been honest from the start, but... I thought you'd be mad at me. You should never be afraid of telling the truth, Orbit. We're your friends, and friends are always there to help and understand. Really? Thanks, guys. But now we're whole days being wasted. Wasted? Not at all. We had a great day. Sure, we had our shares of ups and downs, but this was one of the best missions ever. Yeah! And I'd say it's a big <laughs> mission. Accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we thought Rocket's elevator was broken, so we went to the elevator planet to find a new one. We had a lot of fun trying to find the right elevator. 
even though Warbit was acting kind of funny. We could tell something was bothering him, and it turned out Orbit was afraid to tell us what really happened to Rocket's elevator. He was afraid we'd be upset if he told us the truth. But good friends will always understand if you're honest with them. And when Orbit finally told us the truth, we knew right away how to fix the problem. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> so, a wing name, TK. Huh? Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozanian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian, 
Romo Sanian. Yes, we have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be uh -huh. shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. <laughs> Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's something you need to know about Jonah. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Yoo-hoo, over here, Jonah. Hmm. Oh, no. Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry, we'll catch him. Right, Emma? Uh, you guys go ahead. We'll clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Hmm. Hola! Hello! <gasps> wow! It's a talking book! A Spanish talking book! Neat! What a great way to learn a language! Konnichiwa! Hello! Wow! This one is Japanese. Hmm, I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna, greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. <laughs> Not loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Cool! Zula Wingding, hello. 
do a wing day. Hello. Yeah. You did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanium. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Yeah. <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa. That's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time to see our new cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock. Me too. I like how it sounds. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> I like when the cuckoo bird pops out. He's cuckoo. He does that every hour. And look, do you all know what time it is? Yeah, sure. It's, um, uh. It's time to go cuckoo. Huh? One, two, <laughs> we counted three cuckoos. That means it's three o'clock. Oh boy, oh boy, it's dinner huh? time. <laughs> Orbit, it's not dinner time. We eat dinner at five o'clock. Oh, and hmm, what time is it now? Uh, huh? Say, Orbit, how would you like to get some practice telling time? That would be great, as long as we're done in time for dinner. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where Orbit can practice telling time. Sounds like it's time for some fun. Okay, let's see where you can go. The music planet? Uh, that's a good place to practice the piano, but not for telling the time. The mineral planet? There are lots of rocks on the mineral planet, but not lots of clocks. Oh, the clock planet! That's the perfect place for our mission. <laughs> yes, the clock planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Wow! Look at all 
all the clocks. I'll get lots of practice telling time here. Hmm, the time on each clock is different. I wonder why. Maybe they're cuckoo clocks. You know, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> cuckoo. <laughs> so, Urban, which clock would you like to practice on? Well, since I need a lot of practice, how about all of them? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Too. That clock has a nice face. Huh? What? Clocks have faces? <laughs> Not real faces, Orbit. That's just where the clock numbers go. And without the numbers, we'd have a hard time telling the time. Uh... Oh, hi there. I think he wants to help me practice. The big hand counts the minutes, and the little hand counts the hours. And the hour always comes first. So, Orbit, what time does that say? Hmm, let's see. The little hand is pointing at the two, and the big hand is pointing at the three. So that means it's three to me? Not quite, Orbit. May I? Remember, the little hand is the hour hand, and the hour goes first. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and each number equals five minutes, so you count by five. Okay, and if the little hour hand is on the two, and the big minute hand is on the three, then that means it's five, 10, 15, 215? Yes, that's <laughs> right, good job. Huh? Whoa, look at that clock. It looks like our cuckoo clock, only a lot bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna practice on that one next. Come on. Look, the little hand is pointing at the four, and the big hand is pointing straight up, which means it's four o'clock, right? Yes, that's right. Perfect. Now you're getting it, Orbit. And if it's four o'clock, you know what that means. It's time to go cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> oh, now I see. The big clock tells the other clocks what time it is. There he is. Hi, cuckoo. Hi, cuckoo. Hi, cuckoo. Hi, cuckoo. <gasps> I'm okay. Don't worry. I have everything under control. Ah! Oh no, all the other clocks have stopped. You mean time has stopped? And dinner time might never come? Um, I'm not sure that's exactly how time works, Orbit. No time to talk after that cuckoo cuckoo bird. Whew, he's hard to catch. That cuckoo bird is really wound up. No wonder. He lives in a clock. We have to keep trying, because if we put him back in the big clock, the other clocks will start ticking again. Uh, and dinner time will be saved! Shh! Quiet, Orbit. Here he comes. Ha! Fun's over, Cuckoo Bird. It's time to get back in your clock and stop going. Hi, Cuckoo! Yipe! Um, um, do I look cuckoo to you? <laughs> okay, let's see. The little hand is almost on the five, and the big hand is almost at the twelve. Ah! That means it's almost five o'clock! <gasps> Dinner time! And that means 
means we don't have much time left. What will we do? <sighs> I don't know. You'd have to be cuckoo to catch that silly bird. Huh? Hey, that's a great idea. I can go cuckoo. Come on, guys, follow me. <laughs> You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit was having trouble telling the time. So we went to the Clock Planet, a place with lots of clocks so Orbit could practice. He learned that all clocks have hour hands and minute hands. Orbit liked the big cuckoo clock the best, but the cuckoo bird got away. Without the cuckoo bird, the big clock couldn't tell the other clocks what time it was. But Orbit could, and he caught that silly cuckoo just in time. That's how I learned to tell the time. And right now, it's dinner time. But I don't need a clock to tell me that. <laughs> well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, says he's got a high-flying surprise to show us. Look what I made! It's a paper kite! Wow! I love it! Can I try it? Actually, you can try your own kite. I made one for each of you. Aw, thanks, Orbit. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's one with a wrench on it for TK and one with rockets for Rob. Thanks. Cool. So what are we waiting for? Let's fly them. But wait, we can't fly kites in here. There's no wind. Greasy gears, you're right. We need to find a windy place. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place to fly our new kites. Oh, I love kite flying. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Tree planet. That's a cool place to relax in the shade. True, but our kites might get tangled in all those tree branches. Ooh, snow planet! Cool place, but maybe too cool. We might get frozen in a snowstorm if we go there, Orbit. Hey, that looks like a safe place. Windy planet, excellent choice. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry! 
Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Next up, Windy Planet. Overheated. The wind from this fan should help cool you off. Oh, thanks, TK. I don't get it. The kites are supposed to catch the wind and fly up high. Hey, has anyone noticed that none of the windmills are turning and none of the flags are flapping either? Uh huh? So? Well, they both move by wind power. So if the windmills aren't turning and the flags aren't flapping, that means there's no wind. No wind on the windy planet? Greasy gears. That's like no popcorn on the popcorn planet. Or no peanuts on the peanut planet. Or no snow on the snowball planet. Or no meatballs on the... Okay, we get it, Orbit. But the main thing is, no wind means no kite flying. Wait, maybe we can use TK's fan to fly our kites. Try it, TK. Okay, but I'm not sure it'll make enough wind. Three, two, one, lift off! Huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like we'd need a fan as big as one of those windmills. Unless... What if we had a kite that doesn't need wind to fly? Wait here. I'll be right back. While he's off doing that, I think we've got a new mission to solve. The mystery of the missing wind. Yes, this is the windy planet, so the wind must have gone somewhere. Ooh, I love a mystery. Maybe the windmills will give us a clue. Come on. Whoa, these things sure are big. I wonder what they do. Windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like producing electricity or even grinding flour for bread. Hey, look at this. It looks like a control panel. Ooh, maybe that lever starts the windmill turning. Except wind makes windmills turn, Emma, not pulling levers. That's right. I keep forgetting. Then I wonder what it's for. Hey, everyone, look what I made. It's a robo-kite. Robo-kite? It's powered by mini-jets, so we don't need any wind. It flies by remote control. But doesn't that take all the fun out of flying a kite orbit? Just watch. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Pretty neat, huh? I guess, but it isn't the same as flying a real kite. But you can do tricks with my robo-kite. Watch! Then 
to fly kite is with wind. Hey, look! Huh? That flag's flying. That means there's wind. The windmill. Wait a minute. Windmills don't make wind. Wind makes windmills turn. Maybe these windmills are different. Huh? huh? Maybe these windmills do make wind. You know, like TK's fan. Then that would mean they're not really windmills. They're giant fans. Crazy gears, they're all giant fans that make the windy planet windy. And I think I know how to turn them on. I'll bet this is the on switch. Hooray! You did it, Rob! Yay! Now there's lots of wind on Windy Planet. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at them go! Your paper kites fly great, Orbit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the Windy Planet to play with our kites. But for some reason, our kites wouldn't fly. That's when we noticed that the flags weren't flapping and the windmill wasn't turning. TK taught us that windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like produce electricity and grind flour for bread. But without any wind, the windmill wouldn't work. We soon discovered it wasn't a windmill at all. It was a giant fan. We just had to turn it on. We also learned that things aren't always what they seem. And we finally got to fly our kite. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. <laughs>